Hi, my name is Leo Castaneda, and this is my presentation in comparing and contrasting diversity in the deaf community. Oppression of the deaf community. Throughout history, the deaf community has faced oppression by ways of cultural erasure and paternalism that undermine their abilities and intelligence. Deaf people were considered, quote unquote, dumb and treated like mentally ill or disabled individuals. While deafness is still considered a disability by people within the deaf community, others considered it an asset to their personality and cultural competence. And some even consider it offensive to refer to deafness as a disability. Intersectionality in the deaf community is the intersection of one's deaf identity and their belonging to other social groups. Oftentimes, people associate intersectionality with oppression, but oppression and privilege can be determined by intersectionality. For example, a white deaf person would have less oppression than a deaf person of color. Deaf oppression specifically has made its roots has its roots stored in history, and in America, the establishment of proper deaf education was a foundation towards a less oppressive future. Gallaudet University was founded by Edward Gallaudet. The all-deaf university made great historical strides for deaf education and is considered the birthplace of American Sign Language. Edward Gallaudet employed the help of French and European Sign Language teachers to help establish the university. From then on, they made great strides in deaf education and eventually had the first deaf university president in 1988. Diversity in the Deaf Community a person's deaf identity can be intersected by many other identities allowing for unique experiences. Such identities include being a person of color, knowing a foreign language variant of sign language than that which is spoken in the area, knowing a different dialect of sign language, or being part of the LGBT community. Some of these statuses have striking similarities to the deaf experience as well. Dichotomy of American Culture and Deaf Culture while American deaf culture might be centered in America, it is far different from American culture and norms. The cultural differences are usually based in American ideals of proper body language, as deaf people who speak ASL are usually direct and present in conversations. This has to do with ASL grammar and, connot and connotations versus English. LGBT culture and deaf culture similarities. LGBT culture and deaf culture have very similar narratives of oppression. Their similarities lie in society's way of ostracizing them due to inability to understand the oppression that they face. Large communities of both cultures have formed as a result of their own oppression as well. LGBT communities formed relations to other members and created sim systems of care for one another, similar to how people in early deaf communities formed their own bonds within their circles of understanding. To this day, the LGBT community and deaf community stay closely knit, closely knit to each other, despite the recent acceptance of both groups. Native American hand talk is a sign language of sorts developed by Native American tribes around the 16th century. Most tribes had their own dialects, but they were able to communicate regardless. In recent years, Hand talk is considered endangered and at risk of being lost forever as only a few native speakers are left in America. For this very reason, people in the deaf community are pushing it to be taught in mainstream deaf education to hopefully continue hand talk and preserve Native American culture. Global variants of deaf culture. Large populations of people obviously would host large deaf communities making countries like China and America have a very large deaf community. Foreign language variants of sign language exist for just about every language, and usually they are established by people within their community. Usually, a deaf community has the say on the direction that their language goes. Chinese, language is, Chinese sign language is similar to that of American sign language in the sense that their signs for certain sounds represent existing Chinese characters rather than being arbitrary. This is the case in English in terms of ASL alphabet, as some signs represent the letters in the English alphabet. In any case, the establishment of a cultural sign language should be left to the culture involved to, to evolve and adapt to their convenience. These are the sources that I use to complete my presentation. Thank you for listening and have a great day.